It's been almost 20 years since this game was released, and has been released in many many consoles since 2004, including the absolute disaster that is the Definitive Edition, which was released in the PS5 and the Series X in 2021. God, this game has gone a long way, and I'm not gonna be surprised. What the fuck? And I'm not gonna be surprised if it's gonna be re re released in the PSX and whatever name Xbox is coming up with their next game console or something. And it's really crazy that GTA 6 is pretty much around the corner after years of waiting, especially with clickbaits and misinformation and oh the crazy leaks about it. That was wild. And I'm here, still making videos about San Andreas. This game is 19 years old for God's sake. Anyways, enough bullshitting around. I'm going to waste some minutes of your time telling you some useless nonsense about this game that you might or might not know about. Either way, they're going to be pretty useless. I also brought myself a friend. You know who it is since you read the title of this video. What's up, busters? I'm CJ from Grove Street. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, let's just dive into it. The Slam fan actually has two different versions, and two of them have different looking steering wheel. For example, this one has a regular three spoke steering wheel, while the other car is using a custom made steering wheel that resembles a chain. You can hear a fog horn need to get bridge when it's foggy. The Star of Life logo found in ambulances is resembling a sperm. There was evidence that the Grove Street families of the GSF was originally called Orange Grove families as seen by this gravity scattered around Los Santos and a couple of lines that comes from CJ himself. Why, bitch? OGS, why? OGS, fuck you, punk family. So go fuck yourself, punk. OGS, who the fuck is asking? You can use flares as a deadly weapon. So deadly, in fact, it can destroy a whole gas station. The fast food restaurant across San Andres usually opens for 24 hours. But this clock and bell in the middle of the desert is pretty special. It opens at 6 in the morning and closes at midnight. The most unbreakable forces in the GTA San Andreas universe are first, a hedge, second, a tree, third, a tram, and fourth, a bike. Talking about bikes, did you know that the bikes in this game are much much stronger than a rhino? You can destroy this thing into ash. Oh, you can destroy this thing into ashes eventually, but the same thing cannot be said for bikes in this game. Move it, loser. While other GTA map looks kind of realistic, this game's map shapes like a square. There's a weird version of GTA San Andreas that has quite questionable censorship in Japan that changed the mechanics of the game to comply with Japanese regulations. For example, the funny cutscene of gun carting was really completely removed from the game. Oh my god! What in hell's name is that? And pedestrians no longer drop their money. Also, they no longer move when you stomp them on the ground. And the sex shop is now renamed to just shop. The classic bone breaking sound is no longer there. And many references to drugs are also removed. And many missions that require to kill innocent civilians for one reason or another are now affiliated to balls, apparently. They are two actual cat pictures in the game. And one specifically is hanging on my bedroom wall. And searching for an average house can lifespan on Google. And the game release date. It's safe to bet that the cat is already dead. These two cat pictures are everywhere. Kind of. And are seen in a few safe houses around the map. And also you can find them in Mad Dog's mansion as well. God, people here really love these two specific cats, aren't they? The origin of the cat photos are still unknown, however, but it's really likely that they are one of Rockstar's developers' cats that they decided to snuck into the game world. The cat pictures are hidden in the game's txt file in the gta underscore int image file and is hitting under picture underscore frame dot txt and both of these cats are named cj underscore painting 1 and cj underscore painting 7. And of course by the help of a mod, you can actually replace these cat pictures to whatever you like. By the help of mods, you can be a cat in San Andreas. You can also be CJ in another cat-related game as well. 
Can I get a pizza over here? Okay, okay. Don't be tired. That makes you happy. The stranger is pretty special in the game. He is well known as Mail Zero One, and he is the only train driver in the whole state of San Andreas. And when I jack from a train, he does not see the kid. And he seems to be on good terms with every gang member in Los Santos. He's the only pedestrian that rides a taxi. He was never seen walking on the street. And is always being seen in a car. Specifically, a bobcat. Okay, so enough with the cat's bullshit. There's a luck stats in this game. But it doesn't seem to have any effect on the game whatsoever. Even when you try gambling either with low luck or maximum luck, it doesn't really change anything. Fun fact. I used to be scared shitless about CJ's mom ghost when I was a kid. So shitless, in fact, I would close my eyes as I sprinted the door when I happened to load in the Johnson's house and bought this house near the Glen Park instead. And pretty much never stepping foot in there anymore. When you're switching to a first person camera by the help of a mod and then taking a look at yourself in a mirror, CJ apparently looks like this. Here's 12 seconds of orange 12 just being orange 12. I'ma soak you up like a biscuit. You like my asshole always holding up shit. Get your hands out my pocket. Give me drugs. I forget about the bike. Stolen bikes don't have no insurance. Damn. What the hell? Back of your neck look like a pack of hot dogs. Did you know that some of the shops in Los Santos change their appearance when they close down and then reopen again in the morning? It's actually visible from their blinders covering their windows when it's closing time. There are 75 numbers of shirts, 43 pairs of pants, 41 numbers of different shoes, 17 glasses, 12 different watches, 12 number of necklaces, and 33 amount of hats that are sold in this game. <sighs> With a total of 221 different apparel that you can choose from the clothing shop that's available. When CJ has a pretty shitty driving skill, he will turn around when you're reversing. And when he has a pretty skillful but nonetheless still shitty driving, he'll look at the center mirror instead. I'm moving! You can download a mod that allows you to have every map in 3D Universe era GTA in GTA San Andreas. It's called GTA Underground. I tried to install it, but uh, it crashes my game instead. Even though that the map looks like an island, it's not actually an island. So let me explain. San Andreas is supposedly connected to the rest of the US, we just can't really see it, so it's just kind of an illusion somehow. This is kind of proven by Catalina, Big! saying that Cloud needs his car to go to Liberty City. They did to a garage in San Fierro. My lover needs his car so we can go to Liberty City. Meaning that this island is actually connected to an actual landmass. And here's my shitty rendition of it that I made in MS Paint in less than a minute. You know, I tried my best, okay? And I know that my artistic ability is not really the best out of this world, but God, I'm so proud of it. Swimming is much shouting above 60 frames per second because of how significantly slow you are when you're trying to swim. No matter how hard you're going to spam the space, and it's almost impossible to complete amphibious assault because of how slow you are when you're diving underwater without drowning in the process. While you're on a race selection screen, the map you see on the right side of the screen is actually a map from the better version of the game. As you can see, this part of the map is much emptier compared to the final game as you can see by the gray areas that is much more prominent. This road right here got removed, while this road got added. And there's almost no houses at all sitting by the Finewood Hills as you can see by the map right here. You can actually go to the end icon by simply using a teleporter mode, for example chords manager, and then go ahead smashing the heck out of your keyboard for the corner. Or using a mall menu that allows you to teleport to that particular location. For example, this one I use is called RZL Trainer. And then when you click the option, the game automatically sends you. I'm sorry for that, I digress. Now where am I? Right. The countdown music is actually a sped up version of the crash theme, or shall I say? C R I S H theme. The golden weight plates you can find on dumbbells and bench press that you can find in the gym are actually not supposed to be gold. 
They are actually a texture of a cherry popper wooden box that was somehow misplaced on this weight, so safe to say, they are made out of wood. The film The Wizard of Oz is called The Wizard of Oz in this particular theater in Queens. You can actually complete the driving task process from your girlfriend without actually going anywhere. You just need a bike and just spin around in front of their house. Michelle could actually drive yourself if you have 40% progress with her. It takes you one hour and a half for the entirety of the Shrek movie to walk across the map of San Andreas. Well, I guess that's it. I've been successfully wasted 10 and a half minutes of your life. Okay, my job here is done. And I'm head out. So, uh, that happened. Is he okay? Nah, he's gonna be fine. That'll be a fight real quick. He's probably gonna respond outside the hospital anyway. Oh! My bad! So, uh, I suppose I gotta end the video here because I actually forgot to write the ending in my script. So, bye, I guess?